What is going on you guys? This is TechHD coming at you with a brand new video and do you have a mechanical keyboard that has that clicky Cherry MX blue switches or for me I have a Razer Black Widow X keyboard and it has that Razer green switch which is basically a Cherry MX blue switch and has that clicky tactile feel and that clicky noise basically and do you think that it's a little bit annoying it bothers you a little bit maybe when you're streaming like for me when I'm streaming and when I'm making that PC gaming video and I'm always I can always hear this through the microphone. It's, it's pretty loud and I want to find a way on how to make it pretty subtle and at a cheap price. So what I have are the O-rings silicone dampeners from Rosewell and these go for under 10 bucks and these are the clear ones because for me my keyboard is an RGB keyboard and I don't want them to affect the lighting or anything like that. So since these are clear they go right through the lights and it's it's not gonna bother it whatsoever it's not gonna affect it or anything like that these come with 135 pieces and it even comes with the keycap puller which is honestly insane that's really nice of them to provide that and for under 10 bucks that's pretty insane so what this does is that this is for cherry mx mechanical switches and it's to soften it so that it's not that loud high pitch clicking noise and it's for it to basically soften it but still have that same feeling basically like that tactile feeling but it doesn't have that noise as much and it's not supposed to remove the noise 100% it's supposed to just dampen it so it'll still have that feeling but the noise will be a little bit lower so what we're gonna do we're gonna test this out we're gonna do a couple sound tests we're gonna apply these and it's super simple on how to do it especially since it provides you with the keycap puller and then we're gonna see how it performs all right, you guys, so taking a look at the keyboard, you can see that it's a Cherry MX, well, basically green switch because of Razer. And you can see that we got the O-rings right here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up and then we're gonna take apart the keyboard and then we're gonna apply these and it's super easy to apply. It's literally so stupidly easy. All right, so these are the clear coats. They are very tiny, very easy. And since they're clear, they won't mess with anything with the RGB. So that is actually perfect. And now we have the key puller as well. So now let's take apart this keyboard and let's see how much of a difference they actually make. And here is the keycap puller. Now it's stupidly simple on how to basically remove the keycaps and just apply the O-rings. So all you have to do is just push down and then pull up and then there you guys have it. It's that simple. And what I like to do is I like to apply the O-rings already inside. I don't like to put it on the keycap itself because sometimes it gets stuck. So what I do is I just apply it basically like so. I know it's a little bit blurry, bear with me. And then what I do is then I just apply it back in and then I press it a couple times so that it gets stuck. And now if we get the keycap pull it once again and we push down and pull, you can see that the O-ring is completely behind now. So now it doesn't affect with anything with the RGBs and it just makes the noise a little bit more subtle. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply it to all of these things and then we're gonna do a quick sound test and see how much of a difference it actually makes. Alright you guys, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick sound test on how they sound like without the O-rings and with them and see how much of a difference they actually make. Okay, so taking a quick look of how the sound test performed, we can see that this is the one without the O-rings. This one's the one with the O-rings placed onto the keyboard. And then this is the one with both. So now if we take a look and we see how decibel levels are, we can start to see down here that the maximum is about negative 15 decibels. 
but on average it's like about negative 23 negative 19 decibels that's what it really is but the maximum it reaches is negative 15 decibels so that's the one without the o-rings now if we take a look of the ones with the o-rings we can see that it looks a little bit more subtle starts to get pretty high up there a little bit but it seems lower starts to get a lot lower so that seems pretty interesting and if we take a look at both of them we can see that it's pretty low and then we can see that it goes higher for the ones without so this is with without with without so you can see that this goes like around maximum negative 17 and then this around maximum negative 11 so that's pretty much how it is this one over here see maximum close to negative 16 and this one close to negative 12 so it makes it pretty subtle so that's it's not bad but I would have liked a little bit more to it I would like it for it to like remove a little bit more but once again it's it's not to like make it crazy like remove as much of it as possible keep in mind that they still want to make it like that tactile feel they don't want to mess it up or anything like that they just want to make the sound of it a little bit more subtle so there you guys have it that is the video on the o-rings these are the clear edition once again everything will be down in the description below both of these and the keyboard i'm using the razor black willow x keyboard and i really like the tactile feel of it but i didn't like the noise of it especially when it was catching onto my microphone when i'm streaming and when i'm making a video and i like how this one still has that tactile feel but it's very subtle and it's nothing crazy like for example this is the regular one this is with uh with the o-ring and then we got the delete button over here and this one doesn't have it on so this one's more subtle and it feels actually smoother it's like a buttery smooth feel so i really like it and since it's clear it doesn't mess with the rgb lights and then not only that but i still have like 32 remaining in here so it's perfect for other keyboards if they have a lot of macro buttons and stuff like that so you guys will have everything needed you got the keycap pullers and also a whole bunch, 135 I believe it said, 135. So you guys have more than enough for these. So if, if it ever breaks or anything like that, or if you just have like a lot of macro keys, then that is perfect for that. So once again, under 10 bucks, it'll be down in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Twitch. As always, it's Tech HD. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.